a very warm welcome to you all. Um, I could be nervous, but you know, I'll speak from my heart. Um, you know, it's wonderful to have you. And uh, I started Opportunities Australia on 1st of July, 2020. It's been a beautiful journey. The reason I started this, because I came as an international student. I've seen the pain of a lot of international students and refugees and migrants. It's all about the contacts. It's not about what you know, it's about who you know, unfortunately. And that's how it rolls in Australia. So when I first came to Australia as an international student, my first destination was Rockhampton. There weren't many jobs, but you know, my first job was working at, at an abattoir, packing meats. I had to clean up floors as well. And that's how I began. I worked there for a couple of months, and then after I got my job at Kmart, once again, stocking shelves and you know, being at the cash register or so. Um, then I came to Sydney after finishing up my master's degree in information systems. Um, I did another master's in advertising, and, um, and then I started my own ad agency. That was a dream job for me. I had a roller coaster of a ride there. Um, we made some campaigns that are running on TV, that did run on TV. Some of them still run on TV, but um, you know, I didn't have a big success. And while I was doing that, um, I did join Vinny's. Um, so I did do See Your Sleeper. So thanks to Bernie Fenn, the founder of Vinny's See Your Sleeper, and Yolanda, the head of comms. So I met with Bernie and then after, you know, the rest of the great team of Winnie's, and I got to find out about homelessness in Australia. Um, a lot of people suffer, you know, so people come from refugee migrant backgrounds as well, and, you know, different stages in life, and, you know, they suffer to extreme, then they become homeless as well. So I learned from them, you know, I, I had the desire to help other communities. And, and this thing in me, helping other communities, came from, came from the beginning. As I was growing up, we had a family charity. My parents started a school and a hospital, a small one, to help out the poor people in the eastern side of India. So that's where I learned as a kid. So when I first came to Australia, I was, I was offered to be a mentor in universities. And then after I joined Winnie's, I raised money for the homeless people, et cetera. And I thought, OK, with the contacts that I've created in the area of advertising, I wanted to bring those contacts together and, and try to help other people who have been struggling for a long time, who didn't have the right contacts to get into the jobs. And also, sometimes it needs a little bit of a link. It needs a little bit of the communication you know, skills up. So when I first came, I, my communication skills weren't that great. So you know, thanks very much to all the mentors that I have had in my life to be able to boost up my communication skills. So I wanted to touch on that. So I wanted to bring out wonderful teams. So thanks very much to the wonderful volunteers we've got at Opportunities Australia. They help out with, you know, with the resume writing, interview preparation, et cetera. So we try to make people job ready, and then we connect them to the jobs. And then besides running the Job Ready program, we have also started the Aspiring Entrepreneurs program towards the end of last year. It was a great success. We helped out 23 graduates, as far as I remember. People came from the range of um, doing an app to, to come up with, to detect skin cancer. Rajiv Busal would be sitting somewhere. He's been a great help to me to run this event as well. Smart people like that. I've had a candidate who was um, teaching robotics to school as well. Some people have been running their not-for-profit. Some people had restaurants, a so various range of businesses. And in order for those businesses to be successful, they definitely needed a strong help. So we help out these entrepreneurs in the areas of writing a business plan. You've got to have a strong business plan. And then after help in IT or, or finance or marketing and so on. So we try to help out. 360 degree in order to these in order for these businesses to establish themselves we have got our clients from this cohort and then after some of the previous cohort as well it's been a wonderful journey so we have been running eight weeks program to touch on all those areas and we are very proud we couldn't be more proud to have all those people and and hopefully what we have trained these uh, cohort with that's going to help them out in order to establish their businesses that leads to another point. In Australia, 95% are, 95% businesses are small businesses. 
And an alarming figure there is 95% of those small businesses fail. There aren't many safety nets in Australia. We would like to be one of them. We would like to get the support. I've got some VIPs here, uh, the Deputy Mayor of Parramatta, we got people from Service New South Wales, we got Indian Council, we got Winnie's, and so many other VIPs. We would like them to support us, to support our entrepreneurs, support our job seekers as well. We've got great missions, we've got big missions and vision, and we would like to be able to achieve that. In the coming years, we would like to train a couple of hundred entrepreneurs in order to establish themselves. We would like to have a training center where we can operate from. At this moment, all I have got is my beautiful, is my wonderful volunteers. So we have a team of just over 50 volunteers, Australia-wide, who are helping me in order to run this Opportunities Australia over Zoom. We do not have a training center. We do not have staff. It makes my steps limited. So we can only do so much. So we have tried our best with the resources that we have got, running all the things online. And thanks to Town Hall to give us a good discount in order to you know, hold this event. So thanks very much for them. Um, so yeah, this is, this is the aim of Opportunities Australia, to help out as many aspiring entrepreneurs as possible. Um, as I mentioned, that uh, a lot of people have this dream to be able to start their own businesses just like myself but they don't know ins and outs of running the businesses. We would like to supply, we would like to provide professional services to them so they can strengthen their foundation. Once the foundation is strong, then there would be no collapse. So we would like to be able to produce really well-trained professional business people, startups, who can make Australia proud, who can make opportunities Australia proud, and yeah, and the rest of it. I've come, to, I've come to this stage, I'm not successful, but there are some of the mantras I live by. Perseverance, of course, you know. Um, every time talking to brands, talking to sponsors, and, and you know, and various other people, various other, various other stakeholders. I had to persevere. You know, you, you got to continue on following up. Without, without working hard, I couldn't get here. Believing in myself, that's very important. Um, you know, there are people who tell you otherwise, but you know, I believed in myself that I could, I could do this. And, and I'm very proud of myself that, you know, I've been able to pull together a lot of contacts. Thanks very much to them though, the VIPs and the, and the mentors and, and the sponsors, et cetera. So thanks very much to them. Um, and very important, education is the key. I believe this is, this is so important. So we would like to do whatever we could on behalf of Opportunities Australia to train people. And we have been doing this for around two years now for free. So we have been making people job ready for free. We have been training our entrepreneurs to set up their businesses for free as well. We needed a bit of a support there. Another thing is I didn't let anyone tell me that I can't do something. So what I set my mind to, you know, and some of the entrepreneurs and mentors, they would think like I'm crazy. Okay, I, I decided to do it at Town Hall and here we are. We have done it at Town Hall. You know, there was a lot of money to be raised and, you know. So thank you very much to our sponsors. Um, the sponsors are Tech Force, they are our key sponsor, and then after Master and Homes. We have done CEO Sleep out a few times with, uh, with the president of Master and Homes, David Masterton. So thanks very much to them. And then uh, Payment Consulting Network, um, a mentor who is working from Payment Consulting Network. So thanks very much to to them and, um, and, and, the, and the mentors. And coming back to, to the things that motivate me, of course, dreaming big. Without dreaming big, I couldn't be here. So, you know, from, from being the kid to, you know, like while I was doing my bachelor's or master's, I always wanted to achieve great things. So, you know, I'm just scratching the surface, but I try to dream big. You know, if you try to dream big, you know, you land somewhere, you know, onto, onto a tree. So, you know. Um, and another important thing is how we deal with failures. Failures come you know, left, right, and center. But how you fight with it, how you feel, and how you get back up, that's, that's the most important thing. So it happens, it happens all the time. While running this event, actually, you know, while running this eight weeks of course, and to, and to run this event, you know, just come to this stage, there were lots of failures involved. And some of the people, the, 
the volunteers as well as the entrepreneurs they know in San Asafer. So thanks very much for sticking around with us and, and being patient. Um, I took calculated risk, you know, that comes with it. Um, you know, I mean, you couldn't go far without taking risks. So I have always taken calculated risks. Sometime you fail, sometime you pass. And, you know, we have made it this far, so hopefully it's okay. And then, of course, surrounding myself with the right people, so all the successful people, um, we do that. And then, you know, the most important thing is being kind and compassionate. That's the motto, that's the mantra of Opportunities Australia. We try to be as kind and, and as humanly as possible. Um, it's, it's a bit rare, but, you know, we, we try, and this is our, you know, this is our mantra, and this is what we teach people. That's the most important thing. Um, and besides that, I would like to thank our, thank, thank the brands like uh, Microsoft. Um, we, we got Microsoft and Amazon there. So, you know, thanks very much for Microsoft for supporting our entrepreneurs with up to $500,000 worth of perks. So thanks very much to them. And then after thanks to Amazon to help us with up to $100,000, um, help our entrepreneurs rather, uh, with up to $100,000 worth of grants. So thanks very much to them and, and, and the rest of it. So, so it goes without saying that tonight is about the entrepreneurs, the hardworking entrepreneurs. They come from various fields. Very proud of them and um, very proud of, you know, where they have come to. So we got entrepreneurs coming from various backgrounds. So, you know, ranging from, ranging from marriage celebrant to, to social media, to, to marketing, to, to laughter therapy, you know. Beautiful not-for-profits as well. So, so very proud of them. And, um, and yeah, thanks very much for supporting our entrepreneurs. And um, I look forward to seeing them pitch. So yeah, thank you very much for being here and thanks for listening to me.